I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on zeros of quadratic functions. The question here is, for what values of k will the function y equals to x squared minus kx plus 1 have no zeros? You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. So we are basically working with quadratic functions which could be written as f of x equals to ax squared plus bx plus c. And the condition for no zeros is that the discriminant b squared minus 4ac 4ac should be less than 0, right? So if this discriminant is 0, then we do not have any real root. So that is no zeros, correct? So that is the basic concept. So let's begin solving this question. So we are given y equals to x squared minus kx plus 1. Here a is coefficient of x squared which is 1, b is minus k and c is also equal to 1. Now b squared minus 4 is c or we say is discriminant. So this is also known as discriminant test, right? So discriminant which is b squared minus 4ac. Let's analyze this. b is minus k. So we are saying minus k squared minus 4 times 1 times 1. We want that to be less than 0. So this is the equation which we need to solve, which is effectively k squared minus 4 is less than 0, right? So you need to solve this equation to find the solution where the graph of this function will have no zeros at all, right? You can actually pause the video now and solve the question or the inequality. So we are working with the inequality k squared minus 4 less than 0. I've seen students sometimes making a mistake in this solution and therefore I'm going to take this up in, in two steps. One is, when we say k squared minus 4 less than 0, we could think graphically. It is also a parabola, right? Let me sketch here. Which has been moved 4 units down, opening upwards. Right? Kind of like this. And as you can see, this parabola will have zeros at square root of 4 plus and minus. It will have at plus and minus 2. You can see that this is negative when the graph is in between these two values. Is that okay? So, so one of the solutions here is that the value of k is actually between minus 2 and plus 2, right? Which you could like kind of go one more step and say k square is less than 4. Is it okay? Now that kind of gives you an idea. Now, how do you get this solution algebraically? Let's get back to this equation once again. So, I'm now again writing this k square less than 4 and let's continue from here. Now, if we do square root, then what do we get? So, I'm doing square root on both the sides. So, we're doing square root on both the sides. This is the, this is the function which we want to do. What happens when we do this? Well, square root of k square is absolute value of k. So absolute value of k is less than square root of 4 is 2. That is what it means. So the absolute value of k is less than 2 means that k is between 2 and minus 2. And that is how we really get the solution, correct? So this is a very important concept. Square root of k square is absolute k, not k and uh, that is the reason why I have taken this up and I hope that helps you to understand the concept uh, algebraically and also graphically right so so the answer for us is that the values of k are between minus 2 and plus 2 correct so that is our answer so the answer is that the value of k is less than 2 and greater than minus 2 I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps you can always share and subscribe my videos. They are all free. Thanks for watching.